Psychoman's SP1 is crashing devices, Nick Fury is broken at times, and community fallout over light sensitive issue. Yes, hello everybody, welcome to your start of the week Monday edition of Marvel Contest of Champions News, the show. And if you don't know already, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I post the Marvel Contest of Champions News show which takes five stories, five things, it could be bugs, top tips, right the way through to answers from Kabam on certain issues and we put it out as a little show for you. So make sure to subscribe with post notifications on all, hit the like button and as well get involved with the Discord, we've got a Discord now of over 2,100 members and we've got everything from there from guides, discussion and as well rank up advice and so many other things as well. But moving on we must get into the Marvel Contest of Champions news but first as I usually do thank you so much to those that do the support of the channel through the medium of YouTube membership, you're on screen now and as well those that are Patreons, thank you as well. But also, a massive thank you to those that support over on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. That is where I do a lot of predominantly my live streaming, and I will be putting up some new emotes and as well some new loyalty badges tonight in tonight's stream. Tonight. That happens. Tonight at 2100 hours GMT, or a little bit before. Look forward to seeing you there. But thanks to those at gift subs, do tier 1 subs, and as well the Prime Gaming. Thank you so much. First of all, a little bit of a reminder to you that the Contest Round podcast episode number 50 is out now. In this particular episode, myself and Dan literally go over all the problems with both Marvel Contest and as well Marvel Realm of Champions. My disappointment of both this month from functionality, from optimization, and a few other things as well. And some stuff we're going to be mentioning in Marvel Contest of Champions news today. Yeah, just a reminder that podcast is available on iTunes Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Spotify. Links are in the description. Okay, first up, and it's Psycho Man's SP1 crashing devices. And first you might think like, oh, this is a very specific issue, and this is the biggest problem with M2C at the moment. Everything is really, really specific and weird with bugs. If someone's saying that they're using an iPhone 6, which maybe in some cases people might go, right, well, that's kind of coming to the end of use side of things for when command roll out updates and that is very close because they recently got rid of iPhone 5 so iPhone 6 will probably be on the next chopping block to be uh, taken down but it looks like some people are do it going into a fight against Psycho Man Psycho Man is doing his SP1 and then after that the game crashes you'll come back in you might have lost a champion but you'll be able to kind of go and continue on fine but then it looks like it might have got a lot worse because as part of the objectives this month you actually are meant to use a three-star Psycho Man, which, you know, if you're using the SP-1 and he crashes, that again is a bigger frustration for you because it's part of something that you've got to do from the objective side of things. And yes, it is the same problem when it comes to going, look, I need to get this done to get some Shattered Heart Crystal Shards from Loves of Battle Realm and complete Cavalier, uncollected, all the stuff that he's in. Yes. Oh, and Arena as well because he's in that. Man, that is definitely something that's got to be sorted out as soon as possible because it upsets the grind of players. And the more that I read down in this forum thread, the more that I'm reminded about the optimization of the game and Kabam being honest about where the game is up to when it comes to what they can build for different devices. With players saying iPad Mini 2, iPhone 6, iPhone 5S, which I did think that they had made that uh, an end of line uh, type of device. But yeah, look, there are a lot of players struggling with this, but it looks like it's very specific to end of uh, end of use type of iPhone devices. I don't know where my Android people are at, but I definitely know they're not getting the same experience as a lot of other players in this game. But iPhone players are still getting the same problem, so it's just not a good time for optimization of the game. Okay, now on to the subject of the uh, light sensitive issues or caution light sensitive. This discussion uh, was an interesting one and it is is a point, you know, when most discussions happen on the forum, it goes in, it can either go one or two ways. It can be quite nice, a nice discussion, but then it can go to a point of being quite uh, toxic at times. But anyway, this uh, this player started off a discussion said, I'd like to commend Command for alerting the community to this potential visual effect and informing that parts of Psycho Man's animation sequence may not be suitable for audiences. This is certainly a step in the right direction. Moving forward, I question whether the programming team will make changes to diminish the strobe effect or if this uh, warning is the end of the road. Additionally, other sequences come to mind that threaten greater light sensitive consequences. King Groot's SP3 come to mind, Thor Rags SP3, 
as a medical provider and an advocate for those who suffer from epilepsy. I would love to see a move to change the sequences or provide an option to bypass the animation sequence entirely to avoid potential injury or disability. And it's a good point to mention that because at the end of the day, this is a game that's meant to feel, and Marvel in general, these characters are meant to feel inclusive, whether or not if you're gaming or not, we want to be inclusive rather than exclusive to the way that everybody gets to enjoy the game. Unfortunately, it is a case that through disabilities, lots of people lost out when Kabam moved away from allowing blue stacks to be a thing with this game. Funnily enough, I know that people exploit that system, but I was reached out to by many disabled people that are now unable to play the game because the means of which they were able to play, either with a type of um, emulator, they are now not able to. Even people able to produce disability certifications to actually say, look, I have a disability, I'd still love to play this game that I really enjoy, but now I can't. And at the time, when I reached out to Kabam about this, they basically said they could not make any exceptions for anybody that had disabilities, and that was unfortunately the end of it. So will this be the result, or will this like lead to a result of Kabam changing some things like animations? I personally would like them to do it just slightly. The animations of any champion are sick in game, but having extensive amounts of lights, you know, is this going to be like Star Trek, the the Nick, the reboot of it, where everything was massive strobe lighting and uh, and kind of like weird effects, where just like a lens flare. That's what I was I was coming to. Lens flare, which let's face it, that was kind of like it was amazing, but it was just glaring in your face and was not nice, especially when you were in the theaters. Funny enough, if there are people out there going like, oh, yo, that will ruin the the way that the game is if they tone down the graphics. Funnily enough, that could help out a lot with the running of the game on uh, lower devices and help the optimization side of things. Not to say 100% categorically it would, but definitely from a point of how the game would be built to be uh, like a, a lower end on graphics rather than a top end on graphics would mean that I could run my 7 Plus for years more than I would with any other device. The same thing with a lot of the players with the iPhone 6s and 5s being able to run the game more smoothly if the graphics level was dropped down or at least you had an option to do it. Now I'm not a games developer so I don't know 100% if that would be correct but it definitely seems logical. However, um, you know, this the forum post, the forum thread even, the discussion point seemed to derail at times and had to be brought back to just this uh, point of the fact that look, Kabam aren't going to have any liability if you have or do anything you know, if I fall over whilst playing Marvel Contest of Champions, can I sue Kabam on this? No. Uh, same thing with anybody that has an epileptic fit while playing the game. You probably won't be able to do anything. It's up to a courtesy of the developer to do this. They have made inroads to respond and as well give some examples of um, just being helpful, which is good, I guess. With an updated post that uh, we did cover last week, but as well, Kabam Boo uh, following up with, further to the above, we advise that you should, should you begin to experience symptoms of high induced irritation or illness, please exit the game immediately to avoid further development of these symptoms. Should you wish to continue, we suggest the following, reduce the screen brightness of your device, taking periodic breaks during game sessions, ensure that you are using your device in a well lit environment. Now I do take the coverage of this very seriously, but I just wanna stop for a moment just to take a little joke at this here. Please exit the game immediately. Your exits are here, here, and here. And dropped inputs can be found in many areas in the game. Yes, top quality airline safety references. But in all seriousness, I'm back to being serious about this. I really hope that Kabam could look into a better kind of way of uh, making this game more accessible. And not to say that it's not, it's just a case of looking at this thing about what is inclusive to exclusive, what is available for people to play, would it be good if the animations were lowered down? I mean, you look at like 2014 to 2016 side of things and the quality of where the uh, the graphics were. More so for 2014 to 2015. If you were playing the game then and it wasn't overly kind of uh, light sensitive, to then have the game then continue or kind of, uh, not adapt, but kind of evolve to be more like that, then if you've been playing for a long time, you might be going like, oh, oh, this is, I can't play this anymore. I used to be able to play this but I'm not able to play this quite as much now. So that would be kind of like, it would suck if you were 
ep epileptic or caused to have times of an epileptic fit at the start of playing the game and it was fine and it was like it changed that would be uh, very disappointing if that were the case but yeah, a very sensitive subject to deal with and talk about at the same time. Right, next up, and Nick Fury is broken. Now, I did cover this last week, but I've been inundated with a lot of people contacting me to say, oh, do you know Nick Fury's broken? So we're going to make this the narrative of this particular Marvel Contest of Champions news to kind of create awareness about the forum post and uh, forum thread and as well, you know, let people know, look, we're covering this stuff. Make sure to come back to content. We do cover a lot of these bugs and stuff. So please keep up to date with the content. So look, Nick Fury is uh, going straight into life model decoy, as well as a lot of other champions getting random persistent charges missing. But more so with Nick Fury, who has been somewhat of a problem child for the last six to eight months. I say more on the top end of eight months of sometimes he'll be fine. Other times he'll go straight into life model decoy and you're like... Anchorbam have uh, said enough is enough. I've had it with his mother in problems with persistent charges in his mother in game. See what I did that? Censored myself. I didn't say the words, but it's Samuel L. Jackson references from Snakes on a Plane. Clever. At the start of the recent update, it seemed to be that there was a lot of other champions from Cat Marvel movie, from Morningstar, Guillotine 2099, and right the way through to uh, Apocalypse. At the end of the day, this is just massive hit and miss, and also consistently hit and miss, or inconsistently hit. Whatever you want to describe it, it is not good, especially not just limited to Nick Fury, but as well, the main man Corvus Glaive seems to be effective at, affected at times. And this is the thing where you can't put rhyme or reason to this, with different and various times of the day, in different and various modes, where this is causing just weird frustration. To go into quests and go like, is, am I going to have this champion working? Am I not? With even people doing some of the most difficult pieces of content and as well alliance-based participation in Alliance Quest Map 7, uh, for example, it does kind of make you go like, what the heck is going on? I personally have not encountered this issue, but I may have and I not realised it. But that's the thing. You know, there are a lot of players out there on various different devices with... Uh, Someone having here Android 11 S20 Note Ultra. And that's the thing. This could be slightly device specific. And that's the thing. I would say, guys, put your devices into this. If Kabam haven't asked for it, doesn't matter. You know, put it in there. Someone else put device. Huawei P20 uh, Pro. So at the moment, it seems predominantly Android. But, you know, it would be good to see more on, uh, on kind of different devices so people can get an idea where this is a problem and Kabam can like track it a little bit better but at the moment it looks predominantly Android in feedback so yeah maybe this is predominantly an Android issue than iOS and definitely something Kabam need to look into ASAP and uh, they've got this forum post if you haven't seen it which is the link is in the description if you want to give any feedback to this and now let's move on to arena predictions all predictions for round two are down below at the moment and my predictions were actually quite good this week, which is I'm pretty happy with. Yellow Jacket, and we will be going over the results, but my predictions for round two will be 25 mil for Yellow Jacket. And the four star, I'm going with 5.5 mil still. And as well with Air Walker, it's 1.8 mil, as I predicted before. It's just the reduced down of 2 mil uh, for the uh, Yellow Jacket. So let's have a look at some of the results. Well, 221 position, got 20, uh, 25 mil, 25.2 mil for 221 is look, it's quite respectable, and that's why I'm kind of going with that uh, 79 position kind of deficit. We're saying, look, 25 mil should be fine. But if you want to go back to my old prediction of 27 mil for the round one, then do it. It worked out well with the round one, and I'm pretty happy with that. But if you're looking to get yourself some shards, 2005 star shards and 206 star shards, then thanks to King Cooper for sending this through. 15 mil was enough to get the six to 10% position so if you want to do that that's up to you and also shout out to Mr Worldwide for sending through as well as King Cooper to the discord info that 1.8 mil just over 1.8 mil was enough to bag a four star air walker if you needed him for synergies or you just wanted him just to say you've collected him for your collection and there we go that's me Marvel Contest of Champions news for Monday make sure to catch up with some content some content up there and as well I'll be posting a lot more this week on uh, monthly event stuff so Cavalier grind stuff 
and as well some other content surrounding this month, top five tips for the month, all that stuff before I get back into the guides. And I've got lots of guides if you've seen on Discord, the entire video list. I think there's about like 50 ideas that I've got to make before the end of the year. So yeah, looking forward to it and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.